At Coca-Cola, sustainability simply means doing business the right way and not the easy way. A Coca-Cola Africa operating unit and our bottling partners launched our Africa-focused sustainability platform called Jami. Jami reflects our commitment to engaging proactively with our partners, our stakeholders in the countries in which we are operating. We want to make a meaningful difference. This platform will expand on the work that we are doing to achieve that by focusing on three areas. That would be waste, water, and wealth. We do this by supporting the conservation of natural water resources, improving community water access, and adapting to climate change. Coca-Cola is a beverages company. We use a lot of water to manufacture our beverages. So as part of our sustainability, we need to replenish the water that we use and plow back to the communities. We've worked with scientists across the country, with environmentalists, to make sure that we identify underground water and then we introduce boreholes. So the Cokeville is actually a borehole system that is independent of the municipal grid, of the power grid, and it's powered by solar power. Some of the greatest achievements is actually bringing clean water for the first time in most communities. If I look at areas like Limbombo and Eastern Cape, where communities have had to walk for miles and kilometers to get water. So Cokeville is one of those projects that are our legacy project. For as long as we are in South Africa, we will be building more and more Cokeville projects. So it's something that will be ongoing, it's a legacy project. For as long as we uh, produce Coca-Cola, there will be a Cokeville project being rolled out in the country. So the risk of water um, to our business is a huge one and it's very important for us to actually be able to ensure that there's an aspect of replenish that happens to communities, not only that we serve in, but communities that are restricted in terms of, of their own water use and availability. So a number of years ago, it was about four years ago, shortly before the Day Zero crisis, we had the wonderful opportunity to be able to partner with the Nature Conservancy and create what is known as the Greater Cape Town Water Fund. And what that actually meant was the recharging of aquifers that were dormant and no longer able to supply water to the communities they serve. The first project was out in Atlantis and the recharging of those aquifers over a period of um, 12 to 18 months involved alien vegetation clearing and this allowed the water to flow back into the aquifers, servicing and providing water to about 66,000 people in that area that previously were not able to access water. The unique partnership that we have with the Greater Cape Town Water Fund is that it does not directly benefit Coca-Cola Peninsula Beverages. It benefits the communities that we service on a daily basis. This is a testament to our belief and our purpose to refresh the world and to make a difference.